Welcome guys back to another episode of the Red Dead Redemption 2. Look there. Rabbits. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. Try and shoot one. You don't want to use anything too powerful on a small animal like that. You just ruin it. Okay, so we should use the the bow. Best thing's a bow or a 22 caliber varmint rifle. I have hunted rabbits before, you know. Yes, and obliterated them with a shotgun, if I remember right. Where the rabbits at? See them. Dude, I see no rabbits. Where, where are they at? Oh, there's one. Freaking Skinner, man. Holy crap. Yeah. That was freaking brutal, man. Holy crap. Good job. All right. It's getting late. Wreck we should camp here. Sure. Now then, you get a set up. did that. Really? Trying to use it, but I don't know what the hell is going on. Really? Come on, man. There you go. I have to be right next to my horse. That's what I freaking hate about this game. Holy crap. Uh, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. <gasps> okay. Cook the rabbit. No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. Cook it.
Eat it. All right. Well, we better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. Let's go find that bear in the early in the morning, man. He better be worth all this drama. What's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track them, but we might need to lay bait to draw them out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous, but we'll have a much better chance of getting a good shot. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, bears. Tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. More freaking crafting. Holy crap, dude. In the mountains I... I was virtually weaned on bear meat. Okay. I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's get on our horsey and let's get uh um... down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the lot? Uh, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. Uh, I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. And staying in. It's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen, if Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's slip by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Whoa! Where's that bear? Look for tracks, dung, bones, any sign. Well, there's something there. Well, there's some paw marks here, Jose. They sure look big enough. Good. Let's hope it's him. The hell? Let's go find it. That's not what I meant to do. Okay. Wait a minute. There's 
something on the ground here. Half-eaten fish here. Must have been left by our friend. Hmm. Come on, see if there's anything else. Anything else? More fishies, okay. Some it's on the ground, just here. There she here. Watch your step. Looks real fresh. Reckon he's got it as close. Let's keep going. Okay. Where's our friend Bear? Looks like the trail ends here. We lost him? For now. A, a little optimism, Arthur. Well, what do you think? I think we split up in each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work? Which do you think? Wait, what? Arthur? Split up. Let's split up. Okay. I'll head this way. You head down that track. Okay. Oh, it's up there. Okay. Come on. Let's run for it. Shoot that thing, please! Oh shit, that's a big bear. Look out! Okay, we turned to him. I thought we was gonna chase a bear, man. Okay. Everything all right? Everything's fine. You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. Nothing. Nothing at all. Thank you. I think. That was fun. <sighs> You know what, Arthur Morgan, I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> he said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> You coming, or you gonna track that monster? Well, you coming? Uh, I'm going with Hosty. I'm coming with you. Let's get going then. I'm not saying the wilderness by myself. Hell no, bro. You think I'm crazy? Freaking finding a bear? A freaking ten foot bear, man? No way. Holy crap. Let's see if Dutch gives us any crap about disappearing like that. I don't need another. We gotta be out there, man. 
making money speech. We were just out scoping a lead. He doesn't need to know it's a big furry one. Well, thanks, Arthur. I probably owe you one. Don't worry about it. I need to head out to Emerald Ranch soon. Look into something. See you later. What else do we got? I got two more missions. Let me go to do this one. What? Shape per person. Holy crap. Let me see that. Hmm. What's this? Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses already. You gonna take the old man into town? You take us too? Why, well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> Can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> Can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a rob, and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> Ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. Damn, we're so psyched. Up to the trees here, then take a left. This is going slow. Are they gonna have a conversation, bro? Because I really don't have nothing to say. No? Okay. Dude, I don't know how much I have to say, dude. This game looks so beautiful. Holy crap. <laughs> Lady, that's a song. back from over there could you okay
Come on. There, boy. Come on. Let's go back. That was easy. It wasn't that hard. I thought it was going to be harder. Holy crap. Okay. Isn't that bad? Let's get up here. Oh, let's go to Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother, there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart, a small one perhaps, hidden deep inside, mm -hmm. but a real one. And you have it, your pulse old lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here. Stop. I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did it. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. Woo! Smell those sheep. <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. Are we almost here, man? Decent little town. Other people. Finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Go left here, down the main street. There's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. Yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. All right. Here we are, just like I said. The cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at its finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With the <laughs> We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble. Don't get yourself noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're fair. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> Dude. Okay. I'm not going to ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Ringworm, really? I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. Then you. Shut up. <laughs> it's the place now. Come on. Morning. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Whole stock list in the catalog here on the counter. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Come on, browse catalog. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? 
Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? The lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. Well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. I can see crap, I have to look for the viewfinder, holy crap. All done. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. That should do us. Let's go wait for them outside. Let me buy some clothes and we see. Full outfits. God damn, eighty five bucks. He don't know. See hats. I'm good. Get the hell out of here. Oh, here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? I snuck into this fancy house. Acting like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Dene and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night. As to get to the docks in time for the tides. In some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out there in New Hanover. No, oh, another train heist. Nice. Okay. Good. We're still in care. How convenient. At the hotel, they were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? Seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. You can go get the damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get off of me! I've been looking too long. Intervene. Get your hands off her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey. Hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't get out. This with you right now. Go away with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. You won't believe this. Found a gold nugget the other day. Then lost it, right? How about that? What am I doing? Over here?
Nope. The hell did I do? Return to corn. I don't know where, the, where, where he was. Holy crap. Okay. Let's do it again. <laughs> Dude, I tell you, like, I freaking suck at this game. Get your hands off her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or would exactly. You wanna find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go away with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Jesus, uh, hope you got steady hands. For Christ's sake. Hello there. It is in giving. That we receive the true gifts of life that are eternal. <laughs> so give generously. For that is what this country needs. Oh, okay, you can open this. A map, perhaps? No trouble now, please. friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. They paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here! Come on. That's it? What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him? Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. Bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. I hope uh, everything's okay up there. Everything's fine. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? I'm sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, now. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Cool. Get. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Follow him. Just following it. You stay away from me. Get back here right now. Where is he? Question. Why 
are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up. Please. I can't hold on much more. Right. Come on. Come on. I'm going to kill anybody. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Give me Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh... Here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding? Of course we do. <laughs> Jimmy Brooks. I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense. In this year old mind. Come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. Yep. Not again. Yep. Let's get back to town, man. Is this place far or what? Go inside. Yeah. <laughs> hey, all right, there we go. Oh, okay. Arthur, come here, come here, come over here. I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Well, you're just a toughest teak mountain man. Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Oh, Jesus. Yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charm. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man. I dread to think about it. Watch where you're going. Take it easy, Are you about pal. to kiss that guy or punch him? Huh? Oh, oh, and we have our hands. Oh, shit. Come here, you. Let's get these bastards. You're dead. Come on. Oh shit, how the fuck do I fight? Oh, 
You're dead. Z. Holy crap. Get the hell out. Come on, man. Oh, shit. Oh, God. <laughs> from me, man. I'm pressing it. Come on. Holy crap, dude. Beat him. Oh my god, dude, this is brutal. Stop! Stop! Please! Please! I beg you, stop. Come, sir. You won the fight already, surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? No business. <clears throat> no business, sir, but please, I beg you. Oh, dude. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Oh, my God, Dodge. Those Hatrilo. The very same. Well, well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah! Javier! Charles! I've missed you! And Bill looking as well as can be? Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him. Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Ah! <laughs> Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill. Come on. And with that, folks, I'm cutting out the episode here. Thank you for watching. Stay frosty on mental and watch for the next video. I'll see you in the next one.